if you get as impatient as I do with some people with no communication skills, or if you know someone who has no okay. communication skills, please take the time to listen or read this and share it, and please leave your thoughts on it as well. Why do people jump to conclusions about a situation instead of just asking or telling the person directly? Some people have a very hard time expressing themselves on how to communicate with other people. Relationships with God and family members and relationships with significant others and friendships needs four things. Commitment, consideration, communication, and compassion. What will follow is lasting love with lots of laughter. In the absence of communication lives interpretation. How ironic that those who have listened to any giving conversation are the same individuals who get upset when they aren't heard or understood. Respect is earned not giving trust is a process and the overall connection between two people requires diligence and communication. The silent killer of relationships is the lack of communication. I can't talk to you if you're not listening and I can't listen if you don't talk. Communication is key. Do not hide things you are keeping secret. Be honest find time to share. One of the greatest gifts you can give to anyone is to say the right words at the right time. Communication skills are the way you demonstrate your kindness. Feeling of words can flourish only in an atmosphere where individuals' differences are appreciated, mistakes are tolerated, communication open, and rules flexible. Whenever a person is ignoring me what they are actually doing is making a conscious choice to communicate that I am not important to them. Honesty, trust, communication and understanding. Mix it all together and you have a relationship that works. Leave one out and you have one that fails. If all else fails and it is a relationship with a significant other maybe you're just not compatible for each other and remember God has a very special plan in words for you. You should probably depart from one another and try keep a healthy friendship if possible and especially if Children are involved. Remember they get their communication skills from us and if it's a friend you are having these communication problems with and if you are not positive in each other's lives maybe you should go your separate ways. If it's a family member you are having communication problems with you should try and resolve it with all possibilities and try to come together. Remember everything is possible and have faith and also remember we have a forgiving God that I am so grateful for and blessed that I have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior into my life and I was saved on November 6, 2011 into my life and don't stop believing, keep faith, and know God is always listening and he will you find the answers you seek. This is my thoughts, words, my true beliefs and my testimony. I have been so blessed by God to help me better express myself. I have put this into audio because it is very lengthy and because not many people take the time to read or take the time to simply enjoy life and smell the roses and I hope this helped you in some kind of way. Remember laugh, love, and enjoy life. God bless and have a great evening.